You're welcome to today's video. Now in today's video, we're going to be looking at some concepts regarding the English sound change. We're going to be distinguishing between phonemes and allophones. We're going to try to understand some basic concepts when it comes to English sound change. Okay, such concepts will include complementary distribution, allophonic variation, and free variation. But before we go into this concept, I would want us to understand what a phoneme is and why or how it is distinguished from an allophone. Phonemes help to distinguish one word from another word, one sound from another sound. For example, we could have bat and fat, rat and hat, set and test. Okay, so the exchange of one phoneme with another phoneme could bring about a change in meaning. Hence, we say they help distinguish one word from another word. Okay, so going forward, phonemes are not actually alphabets, they are sounds. Okay, so we have vowel sounds, we have consonant sounds. These are all phonemes, okay? They help in distinguishing one word from another word. A change of one phoneme brings about a change in the meaning of a word. Phonemes are often referred to as the building blocks of spoken languages okay they are not letters they are sounds often indicated by either square brackets or slashes okay so they are they represent letters hence we have vowels we have consonants and we have vowels broken down into monophthongs where we have 12 monophthongs we have um, eight diphthongs, we have five triphthongs, and of course we have the 24 consonants. So it is with these sounds that we use to structure sentences, to structure words. Hence we say that they are the building blocks of spoken languages. Now phonemes are in parallel distribution, or what we refer to as analogous distribution. Okay, so we can substitute one sound for another sound in the same phonetic environment. The use of one sound in a particular environment, either the um, onset position or the nucleus position, does not exclude the use of another sound in that same position. Okay, so we can randomly make substitutions and realize new words. Okay, hence we say that um, phonemes are in parallel distribution or analogous distribution. Also, phonemes are not in free variation. The use of one phoneme in the same environment can bring about a change in meaning. Now, going forward, what are allophones? Allophones are the different realizations of phonemes. Okay, they are the variant sounds of phonemes. Now, this variation occurs depending on where they occur in a word. Okay, they could occur at the onset position of a word or at the coda position of a word. They can be placed beside several words that will affect them and make them to be realized differently. For example, the voiceless alveolar plosive can become aspirated when it occurs at the onset, but it becomes unaspirated when it occurs immediately after the voiceless alveolar fricative. So depending on the occurrence, depending on the positioning of phonemes in a word, we have different realizations. And now that's what leads us to the concept of allophonic variation. Also, Allophones are predictable. Depending on where they occur in a word, we can easily know how they're going to be pronounced, which is very much unlike the phonemes that are not predictable in their pronunciation. 
okay so remember that we said that phonemes are in parallel or analogous distribution which means that the use of one word or rather they permit the use of words in different places now but when it comes to allophones they are in complementary distribution what do we mean by that it actually means that the use of an allophone in a particular phonetic environment does not allow it does not permit the use of another allophone in that environment hence we say that they are in mutual or rather they are mutually exclusive they are in complementary distribution the use of one allophone does not permit the use of another allophone now we have been able to look at allophones phonemes and also we have been able to um, understand the concept of allophonic variation, complementary distribution, when sounds are in analogous distribution, and also the concept of free variation. Thank you for watching. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you later.